Hello, this is Rain Vasco from Vasco Films, and today I'm going to try something new, which is a tutorial. And we're going to see how this works, so if you guys like it, leave a comment, or like it, or anything, subscribe, that'd be cool too. Um, just so that I don't have to make up a ton more and no one's going to watch them. So today we're going to learn how to do some of those muzzle flashes that you can see in our films. Uh, one like End, The Apocalypse has some pretty good ones, and The Monster Machine which just came out pretty recently, and one called Alone, which actually isn't out yet. It's being currently edited by Jack, and he showed me some of the things that he's been doing. They're, they're really cool. So we're going to be learning to do something like this. It's not amazing, but for like the stuff that we're doing, it's pretty good. So, you know, you can see some lighting on my body, and some smoke, and some sound effects, and yeah. And I'll learn this to get for absolutely free, no plugins. And yeah, so let's see. So here we have the footage of me shooting a gun. Very awesome, not a real gun, just a plastic toy thing. Okay, so we need to find the spot where the muzzle flash should be. I think I'm gonna go for right here. And I'm gonna drag in my still. Um, this I found on Google Images, so you do not need to get Action Essentials 2 to have a realistic muzzle flash. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind before you go buying really expensive plugins and stuff. And I'm sure you can find stuff on YouTube like this too. So yeah, with muzzle flash, just change the um, blending mode to add, so you can still see your background there. And make it sort of like that. And then rotate it. So that's kind of facing the way the gun did. Yeah, something like that. I think I'll make it a little bigger. Okay, so now, just like that. Really awesome, huh? Okay, but that still needs a ton of work. So, to make this look like it fits more in the scene and it has like more of a glow, we're gonna add like a solid that, um, that color do yeah. So medium orange solid for sure. Um, you can make that and trim it to that spot and change the blending mode to add and then use the ellipse tool to get something about oh, yeah about the size of your muzzle flash and then rotate it oh, oops. rotate it until it looks like it'll fit and then drag it right on top of your muzzle flash and that looks really cheesy right now but you just Hold on. Just turn up the mask feathering a lot. And then just position it a little bit more that way. Yeah, I'm going to position it a little more that way. And then it has kind of a glow look to it. So it's not awesome right now, but it's looking pretty much a lot better than what we did before. But there's still a lot of work we need to do. So. Um, we are going to add some smoke. So I, this is a video of smoke that I just found some muzzle flashes off YouTube and I just took all the smoke and layered them on top of each other to make this kind of a little puff thing and it, it's not great but it, it'll do for this. Um, and so then just search for key light unless you have some other plugin that does keying but for now I'm just gonna stick with no plugins and use plain old um, smoke drag that under your muzzle flash so that it looks a little more in the scene and then if you play this um it, it's okay but um there's one problem where this frame right here looks a little bit weird because you can see the smoke and the muzzle flash and the lighting and I in my opinion I think that looks kind of dumb so what I'm going to do is do this, turn on the little thingy for scale and just turn it way down and then go into the next keyframe and turn it really up. That gives it like just a little bit more of like a boom, if you know what I mean. So then just kind of bang comes in and that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. F uh, never mind. Oh, uh, that looks pretty good. But. There's a lot more. You really need to sell the effect. Right here, that frame, it just looks kind of weird because nothing else is lighting up. It doesn't look like it's real. So, if you duplicate this layer and turn 
delete the mask and reset the transform and use your pen tool or you can click on it or you can just say G and then um, zoom in and find some spots in your scene where you think it would be actually lit up if there was a real muzzle flash there. So in my case, I think that probably this part of the gun and definitely my hands would kind of light up if this were real. So then I'm just gonna kind of drag a little thing around there and go back to fit and that looks dumb so then we'll just turn up the feathering a lot and then turn down the expansion so that it's just kind of about there. You can play with this for a long time to get really realistic things but this is a tutorial and I'm not going to bore your heads up. So then uh, I think my face would probably light up a bit too so then that's a nice still. I'm just going to drag kind of something around my nose and a, this bit of my like forehead. Oops. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. And something like that. And then same thing. Turn up the feathering and turn down the expansion. Okay. Um, that looks pretty good. I think I'll do a bit on my hair. Right there. Okay, and then just like all the others. I don't think you need to turn down the expansion if you're going to do something like that. And then you can turn back to fit. And I'm just going to do a smidge more on my chest. So then I'm just going to drag that. And... Yeah, there, there you go. Oh, well, something like that, and then turn up. The, actually, I think we want to turn up the footing a lot there, and turn down the. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Um. So now, if you play this back. That's not looking great, but it, yeah, okay, that actually I don't really like how that looks. Um, I'm just gonna turn down the opacity. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now that's looking much better. So now, if you play this, you can see that that really helped sell the effect right there. There's a lot more you could change. Uh, like, I think we should turn down the opacity of that one even more. But, yeah, okay, but yeah, so I'm just gonna, that's, that's pretty good. Enough. Okay, and the last thing that you're gonna need, well, there's a lot more you could add, like, you could add, like, the lens flare if you want to right there, which we didn't really use, but we might in the future. Um, I think that you kind of need optical flares to make it look good, and I don't really have optical flares on this computer, so... Um, you could use lens flares, or you could try to use optical flares if you have that. I'm sure it would look really awesome, but I'm going to do this without any plugins, and so that looks pretty good, um, except for that, of course, you need sound, and if you don't have sound, then your thing just looks dumb. And so I have this thing called gunfire. Um, WAV. Um, it came from Detonation Films. Um, they're a really, 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 really awesome um, place for stock footage. They have like a ton of free or really cheap um, stock footage that it's just like, and sound stuff, and they have like a page of free stuff, like plenty of them, tons of pages of free stuff, and I found that on one of them, and it's pretty good. So... Yeah, that's that's what I used for the preview before. And of course you can add color correction. But this actually shot doesn't look like it needs too much. And then you could just kind of have like some tint right there so that everything looks a little more orange. Or you could give like this um glow, which in some scenes work and some scenes it really doesn't. So 
you can, I'm gonna see, um, it probably won't work in this because it's not like backlit that much, but okay, swirly ball is really well in this, and no, it does not work, but in some cases, that'll look really good in your shots if you have like kind of a scene that's already really bright, um, then glow will make it look really cool. But for now, that's gonna be our tutorial for today, so you could. Um, give a comment if for a suggestion for another tutorial. I'll probably do like just see some more of the effects that we did. Um, yeah, probably. But hope you liked it. It's not amazing, but I'm sure if you spend a lot more work than I did on this, you can get some really good, really realistic stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it.